Brothers and sisters, welcome back to Be Encouraged. I am so excited that you join me one more week on Be Encouraged. This week's encouragement, the question that God has for us is this. Are you a hopeful or a hopeless Christian? <laughs> am I a hopeful or a hopeless Christian? Are you a hopeful or a hopeless Christian? The scripture today comes to us from the book of Romans. Romans chapter 4 verse 18 from the NIV Bible and it reads thus, Against all hope. What is that? That's hopelessness. <laughs> but against all hopelessness, against all hope, Abraham in hope hallelujah i love that in hope believed god and so became the father of many nations just as it had been said to him so shall your offspring be mighty god those are the words of god thanks be to god are you a hopeful or hopeless Christian. You see, hopelessness is something that allows us to see no good coming from our circumstances. Initially, Abraham, Abraham, I should say, saw no good coming from the promise that God had promised him. Because his wife, Sarah, told him that they needed to create a heir because she couldn't have children. Hopelessness, my brothers and sisters, if not channel towards God, can lead us into things that are not of God. What is that hopeless situation that you have today that you're dealing with that is driving you not towards what God said in his words, but is driving you to your own strategy. <laughs> Sarah had a strategy for Abraham, right? It's driving you to what your mind is telling you. It's driving you to what somebody else is saying about your situation and how you should deal with it in lieu of driving you to God. When Abraham remembered, <laughs> when he saw what was happening with what he did wrong, because he doubted for a moment that God would come through for him. When Abraham remembered God's promise and he knew that God wasn't a liar and will never lie, and Abraham remembered what God told him, the Bible said, Abraham, even when the hopeless situation exists with his biology, <laughs> Abraham in hope, my God, the hopelessness was there. The situation looked hopeless, but in hope, hope meaning that something good is going to come from your circumstances. The Bible said, in hope, Abraham believed God <laughs> and it came to pass. I think of Jairus when he came to Jesus. I believe in Luke chapter 7. He came to Jesus because his daughter was sick. And my goodness, he knew in that hopeless situation that only God, only Jesus could do something about it. And he came to Jesus. My goodness. And when the people who were looking after his daughter knew that she was dead, they came to tell Jairus, hey, stop bothering the master because your daughter is dead. But Jesus told Jairus that there was nothing impossible with God. And Jairus believed <laughs> the words of Jesus that even though he faced a hopeless situation, that Jesus could do something about it. I drove him to Jesus. 
It drove him to believe Jesus. And what happened? His daughter lived. Do you want your hopeless situation to live? Or are you going to depend on how you see it or what it looks like today? The woman with the issue of blood had a hopeless situation and it drove her to Jesus. And what happened? That hopeless situation changed. She had hope. Her situation was hopeless, but she had hope in the one who could make a difference. Hallelujah. The Bible says, Abraham in hope. Hopeless situation, but Abraham in hope. God is asking you today. The situation is hopeless, but are you in hope believing that I can make that hopeless situation be one full of hope? One full of of hope. God doesn't want us to be hopeless Christians. He wants us to be hopeful Christian. He wants us to see things, the good that he's going to do in our situation. Yes, it looks hopeless, but you're not going to be hopeless because your hope is in God. When you become hopeless, it will drive you to do things that are not of God and to believe the lie of the enemy. Initially, Abraham believed the lie of the devil who told him that, hey, you're too old to have a child. You're too old to give a child. Your wife is too old to have a child. But when in hope, hallelujah, he believed God. <laughs> what a difference it made. God wants to raise up that dead situation to life. But you cannot live in hopelessness. You have to be hopeful. You have to believe that God can make something good out of nothing. <laughs> you have to believe that. And I encourage you this week, no matter what you're faced with, look to Jesus. See things as how he sees it. He doesn't see it like you're seeing it right now. He sees it at the end and he knows that everything, every single thing that you're going through that seems hopeless and hard, he's saying to you, I will make every single thing work together for your good. And you're going to shout and you're going to sing, but you have to believe it, my brothers and sisters. So this week, be a hopeful Christian. Hopeless situation, but you're not going to live there. You are going to be hopeful knowing that God will see you through. So may God bless you. Have a wonderful, wonderful week. And please join me next week, God's willing, for a brand new video on Be Encouraged. And remember to share my video with your friends so that they can be encouraged too. God bless you.